Safety is about protecting ourselves and each other from harm. We can be even more effective at practicing safety if we know how to look out for hazards and risks. A hazard is anything that has the potential to cause us harm and injure us. A risk is the likelihood that a hazard will cause us harm. When we all act in a safe manner, we can lower risk. For example, a wet floor is a slipping hazard. By doing something unsafe, like running across it, you increase risk of slipping and falling. A hot pan is a burn hazard. The risk reduces when we act safely, like using oven gloves or holding the insulated handle. Our risk of being harmed increases when we touch the hot pan Ow! without proper protection. The sharp knife is a hazard because it has the potential to cause us harm. Risk increases when we don't put it away safely after use, even if just for a short while. Someone, including myself, could accidentally get Ow! cut. The best way to reduce the risk from the hazard is to put away sharp objects immediately after use. So, how do we decide what's the best way to act when presented with a hazardous situation? Use the hierarchy of risk controls. If we apply the hierarchy of risk controls to the example of the wet floor, the safest way to deal with that situation is to apply elimination remove the hazard altogether. Eliminate the slipping hazard by mopping up the puddle of water on the floor. And if elimination is not possible, we should consider the second option, which is substitution. That means walking an alternative path that is dry. And if that's not possible, we should consider the third option, which is engineering control. In this case, barricading the wet area so that we prevent others from walking into the puddle. Yes, that's right. Safety isn't just about looking out for ourselves, but for others too. Administrative controls and PPE are our last resorts. Consider them when all higher levels of control aren't feasible. In this case, we can inform a cleaner to place a wet floor sign or cross the floor slowly, only if you are wearing a pair of non-slip shoes. Wow, I've learned that hazards are anything that could potentially cause us harm. It's impossible to live in a world without hazards. Just look around us and we'd probably spot at least one. While we can't eliminate hazards altogether, we can minimize our risks. We do this by acting in a safe, sensible, and responsible manner. Now I can make better choices when faced with hazardous situations by going through the different levels of risk controls. Elimination Substitution Engineering controls Administrative controls and Personal Protection Equipment, PPE. Well done! Always practice having a safety mindset such that it becomes second nature to us. Remember, safety is about helping others too. Our lives are precious and priceless. So protect yourselves and one another. <laughs>